So the two topics I found most likely to be on the AP exam in this module uh, were the relationships of uh, position velocity and acceleration and finding slope for parametric equations. Um, this is because these uh, two ideas are very key for using parametric equations as well as using the position velocity or acceleration equations. Uh, without these, it's pretty much impossible to solve many uh, parametric and velocity problems. So, first to uh, uh, determine the relationships of position, velocity, and acceleration, you need to define them. So, position is uh, the coordinates at a certain time d. Uh, velocity is the speed at an object, speed of an object at t, and acceleration is the change in speed of an object at t. So, what are the relationships? So, relationships are velocity equals the derivative of position, acceleration equals the second derivative of position, or the first derivative of velocity and opposite of integral. So, obviously, um, position equals the integral of velocity, uh, so on. So, an example, uh, the position of the object is defined by position uh, equals t squared plus 1. So, what is the acceleration? So, first you find, take the first derivative and you get velocity, uh, which is 2t. And then you take the second, or the derivative of velocity and you get 2. Um, so, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a pretty simple concept. That is, but it's very necessary for um, solving many problems. Um, so now finding slope for parametric equations. So, um, slope for any equation is defined as the change in y divided by the change in x. Um, so it's the same for parametrics, but parametrics have two equations. They have a separate equation for your y values and your x values. So you have to do um, your basically your equation like your y uh, y of t equation over your x of t equation um, because parametrics are defined with two different uh, equations one for their x value one for their uh, y value um, and you have to use these two equations to find your slope and then you find the derivative of your slope uh, using this equation because it can't just be the derivative of your like it can't just be the derivative plainly because this isn't in terms of uh, in terms of x this is still in terms of t um, so you have to find it not only your derivative but also divide it by your um, your earlier derivative of x so then the second derivative is the same concept. Um, where it's not in terms of t, so you have to, in terms, it's not in terms of x, so you have to make it in terms of x using the, your derivative. Um, so here's an example problem. Um, at time t, the position of a pair of particle moving the xy plane is given by the, these parametric functions. Um, it's asking just to find the slope uh, of the tangent line at 3. So, to find the slope, we have to find y prime of 3 divided by x prime of 3, because it's the tangent line. So, first of all, we find um, find y prime of t using the actual graph. So, uh, for the graph, the derivative is, or the slope is 1 half. So, that's your y prime of t, but then your uh, x, or, yeah, your x prime of 3 is actually given in the, in the problem, where it says t squared plus 3, plus sine of 3t squared. So, all you have to do is plug in your 3, and you get 9 plus sine of 27, uh, then you simplify that into 0.5 from your y, divided by 9.95, say, whatever, and you end up getting 0.05. So that's how you find slope and slope for parametric equations, and uh, that's those are the relationships of position, velocity, and acceleration.